Hi, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer here, and in this video series, we're answering your questions about hypothyroidism. And today's question comes from a woman named Jackie from New York. And her question is, is Dr. Hagmeyer, ever since the birth of my daughter, I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm missing out on the best part of being a mom uh, and just being the best mom that I can be. Why am I so physically and mentally exhausted? Well, this is one of the most common symptoms of a poorly functioning thyroid. And while there is, really is no one specific answer, uh, to why people who have thyroid disease suffer with debilitating fatigue, rest assured it is something that is very easy to improve. Now, with that being said, it's important that you understand that the thyroid gland secretes hormones. And these hormones, namely and specifically, are T3 and T4. And these hormones set the speed of your body's metabolism. Now, the main purpose of metabolism is to take the foods that you eat, extract the nutrients from those foods, and then get them into the cells so that your body can make something called ATP. Okay. Now, I want you to think of ATP as the energy currency by which your cells perform all of their duties and their functions. And if you didn't make ATP, you would die. Okay. So if you don't make enough of it, you're now going to suffer with any number of symptoms. Okay. Now, depending on the cells and tissues of your body that suffer from this lack of ATP, you'll eventually have symptoms in that part of the body. So if your cells, for example, are not making enough ATP in the brain, you suffer with things like mental fatigue and brain fog, okay? If it's the muscles of your body, then you experience muscle soreness and muscle aches and muscle weakness. If it's in your heart, obviously you're going to experience problems with your heart, cardiovascular problems, heart attacks, arrhythmias, things like that. Um, now with hypothyroidism, the gland fails to secrete enough thyroid hormones. And so your metabolism is thrown off kilter and when your metabolism is, metabolism is thrown off kilter, that's going to affect your, of course, your energy levels, okay? Now, there are a number of other causes that come to mind when a person uh, who uh, is struggling with fatigue, uh, both mental and physical fatigue, things like anemia, which is having low iron levels in, in the blood or, or low red blood cells. There are things like blood sugar imbalances. There are things like gut issues. There are things like adrenal fatigue due to chronic stress. Uh, there are things like vitamin deficiencies and there's things like inflammation and these are all the things that really can impact your thyroid gland and your thyroid gland hormones and the output of those thyroid hormones. So it's worth looking into all of these issues and treating this as a, as a, uh, as a big picture that I like to refer to. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope that you'll stay with us as we continue to unravel some of these most frequently asked questions about hypothyroidism. Take care.